Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve combinations in statistics. Now, the combination formula in statistics is a very useful one because it kind of helps you figure out how many ways there are to pick a certain number of items from a total pool that's available. The one thing you want to consider with combinations, though, is that no one item can be chosen more than once, and that order is not important because that's what separates itself from permutations where order is important. But if order is not important, then you want to use this particular formula for combinations. Now, the notation for combinations is sometimes more often than not, denoted by NCR. Now, C is for combinations. Now, N is the total number of items you have available, and R is the number of items that you're picking from this particular total. The one thing you want to keep in mind, of course, is that the R cannot be greater than N because it would make no sense. But here's the formula associated with combinations. So, first and foremost, it's a fraction. You have the numerator, N, and you want to find n factorial. By now, you should know what factorial is. It's just a sequence of numbers, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the denominator is actually a little bit loaded. The denominator is r factorial, okay? And then in the denominator, you have what's known as n minus r factorial. So there's two factorials multiplied with each other, but one thing to remember is factorials cannot be distributed. You gotta do the parentheses part before you do the factorial portion. So let's do a quick example. Suppose you wanna find 12C4. That means how many combinations do you have? You have 12 items to choose from and you're picking four from that pool. So plugging it in, your N is 12, your R is four. So basically for every N you see, you plug in 12 and for every r you see you plug in 4, so you have 12 factorial over r is 4, 4 factorial times 12 minus 4 factorial, like so. Like I said before, you've got to do the parentheses first. 12 minus 4 is 8, so you have 12 factorial over 4 factorial, 8 factorial. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can either multiply the factorials together and then have 12 factorial divided by that, or you can even do this by hand if you so choose to. Just a friendly reminder, 12 factorial is 12 times 11 times 10, all the way down to three, two, one. Four factorial is four times three times two times one. Eight factorial is eight times seven, all the way down to one. You can do a lot of cross canceling, that's kind of the long way to do it by hand, but at least you understand how the definition works in more detail. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction on how to solve combinations in statistics.